So this cartoon illustrates the jet stream, and the blue arrow here indicates cases when cold air spills out, in this case to Europe, and the red arrow over here you know, indicates warm air coming up to the Arctic, and it's normal for this, this exchange to happen, but the warming in the Arctic seems to be amplifying this wave, and, and that's been bringing this cold to the United States. And um, this map, the purple area over the United States is, you know, the, these abnormally cold temperatures that have occurred like four times for more than a week uh, since even December. And this is now already in March. This cold is, is uh, continuing. These really purple colors are Fahrenheit temperatures more than 24 Fahrenheit below the average. And I know a lot of a lot of Americans have been suffering in uh, that cold. Uh, meanwhile, up in the Arctic, you can see north of Alaska here this pink area. These are temperatures that are equally warmer than average. We've got more than 20 Fahrenheit above average, and for part of this polar vortex time, the you know the, the U.S. was really freezing, but but Alaska was setting record temperatures, and. Elsewhere in the Arctic, uh, we can see over here, you know, a, a warm anomaly. So this this uh, has been a complicated pattern. Uh, the the cold across the North Atlantic here has been making strengthening storms that have been hammering the UK with uh, you know storm after storm, and and so this global view shows the interconnection of of what's happening in the United States with Europe. And, and the Arctic, uh, this pattern we call uh, warm Arctic cold continents uh, has been recurring all winter. And actually right now I'm in, a, in Svalbard, which is north of Norway, and this graphic shows the data that temperatures have been about 10 Celsius or about 20 Fahrenheit above average for about the last six weeks. And that has made February of 2014 the warmest on record in this part of northern Norway um, in the period of observations that begin in 1899, the warmest February on record. Here's Arctic sea ice, and this blue line shows the current year, 2013-14, where in the winter we're at record minimum sea ice. And that's because the Arctic has been abnormally warm this winter. There's uh, less cold content of this ice, and it's making it more prone to, to melting. And this is part of this ongoing Arctic sea ice loss. And this is significant because as we go into the warm season with a low uh, Arctic sea ice, if that continues, it's likely uh, that we would see another record minimum Arctic sea ice. This graphic shows um, the pink arrows are where there's a tendency for the atmosphere to be pumping uh, air, in this case, down from the Arctic. And this is what's been making the United States abnormally cold. And then if you follow this around, this arrow um, is toward the UK, which has been getting a sequence of very costly floods. And, and then we follow the circulation around, and, and this is pumping heat up towards Svalbard, uh, where February 2014 has been the warmest on record since 1899, when observations began. So it's been a, a very uh, abnormal, uh, warm winter up here in the Norwegian Arctic. Um, also happening, you know, it's all connected here at, when we look at the global scale. Um, these blue areas indicate cold air um, that's being transported down into Asia. And this is all part of this warm Arctic cold continents pattern that, um, you know, the U.S. is by now getting really tired of the cold weather. And um, the Arctic is seeing a... a a record minimum in, in sea ice in winter, uh, and um, it's been, you know, 
very kind of interesting to follow because uh, it suggests that um, climate change is continuing. 